Hi, it's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by to watch. I really appreciate it. Um, so today I bought some paints. I would like to get into some water color and paints and all. I think it's just so beautiful and would make things go quicker and some backgrounds and stuff. Not that I've done any backgrounds or anything like that, but hopefully in the future um, I will. <clears throat> and please excuse me, I'm just had a cold and I still have the remnants of it. So, so I bought, I will put the name of um, the Etsy shop I got this at, cause I don't remember right now, but um, I got these paints and they came, I just wanted to show the presentation of how they came because it was beautiful. So this was actually inside here. Isn't that so sweet, the way it's packaged? And then that beautiful, um, oops, a little bit of what was in there just fell out. Isn't that just pretty little sticker? So, and then there's like snowflakes. So it came with a little candy, which I probably will give to my kiddos. Some of this little confetti stuff. Look, there's a cute little snowman. Can you see him? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm gonna have to drink some of that. Maybe I'll have this today. And then it came with some instructions about the glitter paint. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, so embarrassed. Um, yeah, so it's glitter paint. So it's. I watched one of her videos on how to prepare the paint because I have no idea. Um, I know that I think you're supposed to soak it a little bit with some water. And that's about it, but I don't know how long. And he's so cute, a little snowman. But I just don't, I have no idea. I have not used watercolor paints before. And then this was in there. And let's see if I can get these out. <clears throat> Sorry if you don't like crinkly. I love the little sounds of crinkles. But aren't these gorgeous? So this one is the Wizard of Oz paints. And just everything about the way she packages is just so pretty. Look at that. So I don't know the names of the color, but I think they're on the bottom. And then look at, you get to swatch right here, which I'm kind of afraid to do, but I will. I think the next time I show you the paints, I will have them swatched. But look at that. So this one, oh, I'm trying to see through my camera, so it's a little bit hard. Is Ruby Slippers, I think. That's what it is. Let me take it off camera real quick. Yep, Ruby Slipper. But isn't that just so pretty the way she packages it? Look at this little rainbow right there. And then we have this one. Let's see if that focuses. I think it's Gingham Blue, it says. And then I wonder if I should just tip this over and take them all out. This would be easier. Cute little tan, huh? So if you know anything about how to use these paints, please let me know in the comments below. I appreciate it. And then this one is Sleepy Poppies. So we looked at that one. We looked at that one. Uh-oh, I'm not putting them back in right. And then look at this one. It's so pretty. Look at how she just, all these little details. And these have some axes on it and the Tin Man. And that's what it's called, the Tin Man. I guess I should put them this way. So they'll all fit when I put them back. I just wanted to share these with y'all. Um before I open them and take all the little paper off. I don't have a community tab, so that's why I do some of these little videos of showing you. 
Emerald City. If I had the community tab, I'd probably just take a picture and then pop it up there. But hopefully y'all like these short little videos or this one's already five minutes, but. And then, oh, I think I should show this one, huh? It was this one I haven't. Oh no, I did, because this was the poppies, huh? Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I guess we looked at all of these. Let's put that one over here, but isn't the, the tin just so gorgeous? <clears throat> Excuse me. So then we have, look at how they put, she put like these little cards and such. Sorry, my, I didn't have pretty fingernails and all, but. So this one is Alice Blue. Oh my goodness, I can only imagine how gorgeous that one's going to be. And this one is down the rabbit hole. And this one, look at how cute. She just puts his little like gems on there. The Mad Hatter. And the White Rabbit. Oh, look at this has the chest. Oh, you know what? I did open this one, so we could take a peek at this one. And this one is Chester Cat. And let me see. I'm trying to open these. I don't know what I would do with. Let me take my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing. So that is how it looks. Isn't that gorgeous? focusing and then she has the name on the little um, plastic area and then I guess that's a magnet yep <clears throat> oh excuse me I'm so sorry and then this one try to get that to focus is Queen of Hearts. Should we have tried to open this one? These are so pretty. I don't know what I would do with them, but I don't want to ruin them just yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? So, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's so gorgeous. Maybe I should have opened them all up as I went along, huh? Oh, I bet this blue I love. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Let's see. I'm going to take this off camera for a second. See if I can open it. So it's hard for me to see everything on camera. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yes, yeah, so beautiful. I love blue. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Isn't that just gorgeous with all the sparklies? So, there you go. I will have a swatching done and share that with you all. But, yeah, so I guess you put some drops of water on these and just let it sit. The video said two to five minutes. Um, the longer, the better. Um, so I'll have to post her Etsy shop in the video that I watched. But I think, just think these are so gorgeous. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.